you can't begin to understand this. It's, it's something I'd never wish upon anyone. Words from a mother searching for her missing daughter nearly 35 years ago. Kelly Ann Workman disappeared in June of 1989. And now charges have been filed against three men. Investigators believe they killed her. Francis Watson joins us in the studio with who's charged and what led to the break in this cold case. Francis? Yeah, Maria Paul, Kelly Ann Workman was last seen June 30th, 1989. A week later, her body was found in Christian County. Today, 34 years later, these three men who authorities say are responsible went in front of a judge and are in jail tonight. It would have been nice to have gotten this for the family years ago. Kellyanne Workman was last seen June 30th, 1989. She was mowing grass at this cemetery in Douglas County. Roldan Turner was the sheriff back then and recalls the night Kellyanne was reported missing. We got up here, um, lawnmower was still in, in the uh, cemetery and uh, there was no doubt in my mind at that time, 10 minutes after we'd got here that, that it wasn't good, that something bad had happened to Kelly. Turner says he wasted no time looking for the young woman. We had already started our investigation and uh, both of the banks, we talked to them a lot and pushed them as hard as we could push them. And Leonard Dwight Banks was no stranger to the community. Back in 1999, KY3 reported an update on the case of Kellyanne Workman 10 years after her death. We interviewed one-on-one -on -one with the prime suspect at the time, Banks. What do you want to come out of this? For me to be cleared and for Kellyanne's, for Kellyanne's murderers to be tested and convicted of this. That's what I want. And then what do you think? Where do you go from there if that happens? I'll move away. I've been here the last 10 years, stay here the last 10 years to make sure that, that it's not laid on me as a patsy again. Now, Bobby Lee Banks, Leonard Dwight Banks, and Wiley Belt all face charges of first-degree murder, kidnapping, and forcible rape. The case cracked wide open, not by forensic evidence, but by someone in the community. There was a person that came forward after almost 30 years of holding this inside that came forward and finally told us the last piece we needed to slide it all together. For Kellyanne's family, this day has been a long time coming. She would have had a family and grandkids by now. And she was robbed of all of that. It'd be nice to see justice. <laughs> Turner says the trio's capture is also bittersweet for law enforcement. Oh, at least they're going to get what's coming to them, hopefully. And the family is going to have some relief and some closure. Now, Lisa Rose was one of the original reporters who covered this case when Kellyanne Workman was first reported missing. And then she went and found was found dead a week later. And we've gathered some of our reports from 1989, as well as updates through the years that followed. Now, they posted right here on our website, ky3.com. Just scroll about halfway down the story and you'll see all the extra content there. Maria. Thank you, Francis.